Hi, my name is Prasad and I am Product Manager at Cypress Semiconductor. In this module, we will cover basic understanding about zero delay buffer and its different applications. Zero delay buffer is a device that fans out one clock signal and drives multiple clock outputs. As shown in the block diagram, PLL or the phase lock loop is the heart of the zero delay buffers. The PLL uses a reference input and a feedback input. The feedback input is driven by one of the outputs. The phase detector adjusts the output frequency of the VCO so that its two input have no phase or frequency difference. ZDBs are used in applications which requires tight specs of output to output skew and input to output skew. Cypress is the industry leader in zero delay buffers. As shown in the product tree, we have a very broad portfolio. We have standard buffers which allow clock distribution up to 9 output and support frequency up to 133 MHz. We have 5 output and 9 output enhanced performance buffer which offer superior jitter and skew and support output frequency up to 220 MHz. We have special buffers like spread aware buffers which allows to translate spread spectrum signals and programmable buffers which you can program using the CyberClock software. We will now discuss the different features of zero delay buffer and its application using CY2308 as an example. CY2308 is a dual bank general purpose zero delay buffer providing 8 copies of a single input clock with zero delay from input to output and low skew between the outputs. The different features of zero delay buffers are 1. Zero delay buffers are essentially open loop devices. Any one of the output needs to be connected to the feedback pin for it to function as a zero delay buffer. 2. Output of zero delay buffer can drive up to 30 picofarads. 3. ZDBs have unique power down feature. In absence of reference input, device will enter in power down mode, shutting down the PLL and 3 stating the outputs. 4. By changing the load on clock output connected to the feedback, the phase of the outputs can be lead or lag with respect to the reference input. As shown in the graph, for positive differences, output will lag and for negative differences, output will lead. Lastly, the skew between the feedback output and the other outputs is not dynamically adjusted. All outputs must have the same load in order to achieve zero output to output skew. Zero delay buffers are designed for use in a variety of clock distribution application. For instance, using a zero delay buffer, weak clock signal can be fan out to multiple copies without adding extra skew. Zero delay buffers can also be used as level shifters. A reference input of a zero delay buffer can accept 5 volt input when operating at 3.3 volt. This strong feature makes the device capable to be used as a level shifter from 5 volt to 3.3 volt. This level shifting function can also be used for EMI and EMC reduction. EMI and EMC are caused by high, high energy electromagnetic fields traveling around the system. As shown in the figure, by using level shifting function of the ZDB, the 3.3 volt signal are distributed over long transmission lines instead of 5 volt signal and the energy is generate in the generated EMF is substantially reduced. ZDPs can also be used in reducing output to output skew by ganging the outputs. CY2308 has specified output to output skew of no greater than 250 picosecond. An innovative approach to reducing output to output skew is to gang the multiple outputs together. As shown in the figure, three outputs are shown ganged together and then distributed to three different loads. This will reduce the skew between the clocks delivered to those loads. CY2308 has an open feedback path which is simply closed for zero delay buffer operation. However, the feedback path can be used for other interesting applications such as generation of early clocks. Certain chipset require some copies of the host clock which are early as compared to the rest of the copies. By using a discrete delay element in the feedback path, 
we can generate eight output which lead the input signal these output are essentially early as compared to the input clock another interesting application is a frequency multiplier by adding a divider or a multiplier in the external feedback path cy2308 can be used as a frequency multiplier this concludes the training on zero delay buffers for additional support you can visit our website www.cypress.com/support else contact your local sales representative or authorized distributor thank you